Welcome back. My name is Vinti and I am tracking my journey to transform my garden into the backyard oasis of my dreams. I make weekly videos giving you progress updates. So November is literally just around the corner. Uh, what I am doing this week, it was kind of a busy week, so I really didn't have much time to spend out in the garden, but I'm planting the last of my bulbs uh, that I haven't planted yet. So what I have left is six, about six uh, of these Katharina bulbs. These are late tulips. So it says they bloom in late spring and they get up to 24 inches tall. So two foot tall tulips, all white. So um, I think that's gonna be beautiful. And I also have these Michael's Flowers bulbs. Uh, I just thought these little bells were the most adorable, beautiful things. These also bloom mid to late spring. These only get up to a foot tall, six to 12 inches tall. So these are much smaller. Um, and I have already planted, if you've watched my videos, the lawn, the landscapers are here. so. Their lawn mowers are pretty loud. If you watch my videos the past two weeks, I planted a whole bunch of tulip bulbs, scylla bulbs, crocus bulbs, so a whole bunch of bulbs. Uh, so these are the last few that I wanna get into the ground. We've had really rainy weather and it's getting really cold. Uh, so I will pop these in and uh, that's pretty much it. It's uh, kind of a slow week this week. Okay, so I'm going to plant the tulip bulbs right back here behind my uh, hydrangeas and my spiria and this winter creeper in this little spot back here next to this evergreen. All right, so I've got my hole. As you can see, we have very clay-like soil. So not sure how these tulips are gonna do out here. Okay, so. Uh, bulbs are in the ground. Right in the middle is a massive tree root. Uh, I did make a video when I initially created this bed right here. There are massive tree roots all throughout this area uh, and they required some major excavation. I'm not doing that today. I'm leaving the tree root and I'm just planting around it. There used to be right here a huge maple tree that fell in a storm that we had last summer and its tree roots are still all over the place. Alrighty, that's done. I am gonna have to come through and put mulch down on this area again because I just completely disturbed the mulch. Uh, all right, on to the Michael's flowers. Let's just, can, you, can we just take a second though to appreciate the beautiful uh, pink that these hydrangeas have turned into in late fall? Okay, so as for the St. Michael's flowers, I think I'm just going to put them right in the front, right here. That's what I'm going to do. All right, here we go. These bulbs look kind of shriveled up. I hope that's how they're supposed to look. Uh, I also don't know what's the right way up and what's the right way down. So I watched in a YouTube video that said, if you don't know, just put them sideways and nature will figure it out. So I kind of placed all of these sideways because I really, like some of them are emerging, but I don't know if that's the root or if that's the top. So I'm just putting it sideways. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and cover these up with dirt. Okay, so for the most part, I was able to preserve the mulch a little bit better here. I will have to remulch some areas, but yeah, so that's the, the bed so the St. Michael's flowers should late spring should provide a little bit of color right there okay so all my bulbs are planted and let's take a look at the pumpkin for those of you who are following along so it's pretty orange on almost half of it the rest is slowly turning orange. So tomorrow is Halloween, so I don't think it's going to turn completely orange overnight, but I think I will have an orange pumpkin eventually, maybe in the next week or so. Uh, so that's exciting. Um, 
I think this one, this variety is good for pies. I'll have to double check what it said on the seed packet, but I think it is. Uh, that one, second one over here is still pretty green, but you can see around the stem, it's turning orange. So I'm leaving them on the stems. The stems are still a little bit green. Um, this over here, Pretty much the stems are pretty much dead so I think I could even remove this from the stem but like I don't know if it's getting just like the tiniest bit of nutrients from the stem still so I've left it on and I don't know if it stops turning like once you disconnect it I don't know so I'm, I'm leaving it on um, I'll point out one more thing these I got last week from Lowe's they were on sale for 50 cents each. I should have grabbed a lot more. I grabbed three. I put one in my container, full container in the front and two back here with these, these pansies. If you remember, I planted them. They haven't, I planted them all over the garden. They really haven't done well anywhere. I think the weather has been a little bit too variable. It's been hot, cold, and they're just like, I mean, they're green, but they're not doing that well. But yeah, this, I think this is really nice and bright and I was so surprised that they were only 50 cents each. They're still like definitely blooming. Here's some more of those pansies. Like you can, they're green, but they're not blooming and they're not really like spreading the way the pansies I planted in the beginning of spring kind of spread. These scabiosa leaves are still green. That's pretty much it for this week. Kind of short and sweet, not too much going on. Uh, we will see you next week. Thanks a lot for continuing to tune in. Hope you're all enjoying your gardens or outdoors or indoors or whatever you do with plants. Uh, and happy Halloween. <laughs> have a good, have a good week, everyone. Thanks. Bye.